We're talking here about passing priorities. Whenever you have a big player that's outside with you about to set a screen, this is an ideal time to look to expect to hit that player down low. Let's just watch as Andre sets a screen on Jill down there and creates a switch. When he turns, this is the, precisely the pass we want to make. We're talking about passing priority. Jill may go down and set a perfect screen and get force a switch and get Andre on her back. But I really wouldn't want to throw to Jill because if she gets it down there, what are her chances of scoring? When the ball's on the wing, don't worry too much about what happens on your left side. Look at those people inside. That's where the action occurs. That's where someone can score. Make sure your primary attention is inside with that movement, not on the outside. When the ball's in the corner, put your attention to the basket again. Look, this play outside, what, what are you going to get out here? Unless this guy coming off the screen is a great shooter, pretty much you can ignore him and look inside. This back screen is what's going to be a basket, or maybe even the screener coming to the ball. The back screen, the movement to the ball. But this play outside, unless you have a great shooter out there, forget it. There's the basket that you're looking for. When you attack a zone, it's important that you know not just the movements and where you're supposed to be, where your teammates are supposed to go. It's important that you know who is where. In other words, let's say you have a point guard with the ball here and he's engaged two defenders. It's important that you know when you look to your adjacent players in triangle position, which of these is a great shooter. If this player is a great shooter and this person's a poor shooter, I would certainly be looking to give the ball here more than here. You'll throw it anywhere you want, but you want to look for your good shooter. By the same token, here we have two players. Here's our center, here's our point guard. As you can see, there's quite a difference in their sizes. I would be reluctant. It doesn't mean I wouldn't throw the ball here, but I'd be reluctant to give the ball to a little man in the post. I'd be a lot more likely to wait till they did a hat dance and I could give the ball to a postman, to a big postman right here. By the same token, if I wanted to throw a lob pass for a jam, you certainly don't want to throw a lob pass to a little player. You'd want to wait until there was a hat dance and your biggest, best jumper was down here, and then you'd want to throw it to him. So the major point is to just always be aware on the court, where are your good shooters? And let's say any time the ball goes anywhere, you want to be thinking about what shooter is moving into shooting position and who do you want to get the ball to on the high or low post. Remember these two things. Always think about who are your good outside shooters and who can really get the ball and score inside. No use throwing the ball to somebody down inside who can't score. Give it to the good scorers inside. Give it to the good shooters outside.